Hi, this is Luke Friend, and you're watching The 401 Show. Stay tuned to hear what Luke Friend thinks at the end of the show. Yeah! yeah. Why did that one work in this one, didn't it? <laughs> we have got a brilliant show ahead. Myself and some very special guests are going to be discussing stress about parties. I'm Jimmy, and this is The 401 Show. So I am here with Diana Vickers. Let's have a round of applause. <laughs> and Stefan, Ash, and Drew, aka The Midnight Beast. Let's have a round of applause. <laughs> you guys as well. You can clap yourselves, it's all right. Um, seeing as we're talking about Christmas parties today, I thought we might as well have one. Yeah. Help yourself to a it's bit a of carrot. It's a lovely spread, I'll give you that. Like. Some cucumber there at all. Straight in oh, there. It's a in lovely there. spread, isn't it? That's a, Get oh, stuck in. Get right in there. Oh, you've you messed up the crazy. seat now. Oh, God. Oh, Already yeah. see. There's a systematic approach to I knew it would get out of control. That's bad. Um, <laughs> so, Diana, you did a speaker box for us. I did indeed. Let's check that out now. Once you're at the party, people might put pressure on you to maybe drink or smoke or snog someone that you don't want to. So, do you guys get invited to a lot of parties at Christmas? I imagine you do. Do we? Yeah, I've got one tonight actually. Have you? Have you? Well, it's like a girls' party. We're all like going to go to a little party and like have dinner. And... I've not been invited to that many Christmas parties this year, but it's fine because for me, Christmas is all about. Staying in, get the box set on, home alone, yes please. Anyway, you 401s love this topic, you had loads to say. And as it's the season, I've um, taken the liberty of putting your comments into these presents. Uh, yeah, no expense said. Diana, this um, one's for you. Get cheers. stuck in. Cheers, okay. Okie doke. So Charlie on YouTube says, I've never been to a proper house party before, but I'm starting to get to the age where lots of my friends are going. The idea of drinking alcohol or smoking or doing drugs really doesn't appeal to me, but I don't want to be the only one not doing it because it's a bit pointless for me being there. Maybe I should just stay away from parties altogether. I really don't know. Mm. Mm, very interesting. That is a dilemma. That, it is. that is a real dilemma. But Charlie, not I think only go to the parties that you feel comfortable mm. where the people that you like are going to be there or that you feel comfortable around. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and maybe if you feel uncomfortable, maybe organise a few of your friends that you really trust. You can all go together and then you can have you can have like your own party at the party. Yeah. 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 That kind of thing. Absolutely. If they're making you feel uncomfortable, they're not really your friends. Stefan, you lucky thing. It's your turn to receive a gift. Of course. Gone for pink. Oh, I know you like that. Thank you, there I you do. Actually Get stuck in. Thank you. Piece of paper again. Oh. So, all right. Earth to Talia on YouTube says, I respect people who stick to their guns, but not everyone feels comfortable doing so. If that's the case, maybe someone could try telling a white lie. For example, there are medication that can't be mixed with alcohol. I think this is a good te technique. I like this. Yeah. Because yeah. some people, if you're just like, oh, I don't really want to do it, then people might try and push you. Yeah. Like, why? And you, you kind of get like 21 questions back. Whereas if you kind of come with a fact, I can't do this because of my health, yeah. then they can't really argue with that because you, yeah. they don't yeah. want you to die. People never question they? health, do they? No. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> just kind <laughs> of like a blunt. <laughs> no. Yeah. But I think we can push it. I think we can go more extreme with it. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. maybe yeah. Um, if I drink alcohol, I get this terrible allergic reaction yeah. where my eyes swell up yeah. and actually pop out of uh, my head. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You sometimes look like that actually after. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> or you could just say that you don't fancy drinking that night. So yeah, you could keeping just, it real. Yeah, be really, really confident. Look straight in the eye, be yeah. really confident about your decision. But I don't want to drink tonight and that's that really and walk off and just be with your friends and dance and have a good time because nobody should pressure you into doing anything you don't want to do. So the 401 show went out and about in Birmingham, my hometown, to chat to some hardcore diversity fans about parties. Here's what they said. The pressure of having to have a drink at a party, I always feel is quite high. The fact having to find your outfit. When people start being idiots about some things, it's just like they drink a bit too much and it's just like, oh, what are you doing? Thank you, diversity fans of Birmingham. Some really good stuff there. Right, another present. Ash, Drew, I'm afraid oh, you're going to have to... Oh, it's a joint kind of thing. Yeah, it's okay. a joint present. Um, Are we sharing? You can uh, share it. You've got uh, joint custody of this one. Uh, okay. Get stuck in. Again, it's another question, okay? okay. Yeah. yeah. Let's get off. Mine. Mm. All right, you should, okay. both, you should both hold it. Should we both? <laughs> Katty on, on YouTube, YouTube says... YouTube. What is with everybody trying to pressure each other at parties to drink more and smoke? Exclamation mark. Live and let be. Everyone is different and should be allowed to party however they want to without somebody nagging them to do something that they don't want to do. Why Why do people pressure people into drinking? Yeah, I think sometimes like the wrong way to look at it that maybe people do is they think that you can't have as much of a good time 
if you don't do it or like you're yeah. not going to be involved in the fun or not going to be able to bond with people if you don't do it yeah. But yeah, yeah. and i guess maybe they try and push like their friends to do it as well so that they don't they're not the only ones doing it which yeah. is obviously wrong it's time for comment of the week what do you guys reckon has been the best comment of the show. I'm going to put forward the last one. I yeah. think the last one is just kind of go for it. It was a power statement, yeah. wasn't it? I Absolutely. So who, who so was Katty, the last one? Katty, 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 Comment of the week. Well done, a Katty. cucumber. Well done. Well done. Well done. Yeah. I'll accept a few. Well done, Katty. Your name is going to go onto our comment of the week board along with your comment. Mm. Yeah. And that's it. We've reached the end of the show. Thank you so much to Dinah Vickers and the Midnight Beast for coming down. Thanks, guys. Oh, thanks for having us. It's been lovely having you in the studio. I want to know what you guys think though, comment below. What advice would you give to a friend who's stressed out or maybe a bit nervous about going to a party? Let us know in the comment below. Next week, I'm going to be having a DMC with Mawan Wizwan all about family stress. You're not going to want to miss it. I'll see you then. Bye. 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 I think avoiding drink and drugs at parties is one, not getting involved with the wrong crowd. And I know everyone's curious and Everyone kind of thinks it's cool to either endeavour or go into that sort of thing, but you can have fun without it, so just have fun.